So Anthony, we know you have an acting school. What was the turning point that made you want to train executives exclusively? There were two things and they happened a long time ago. The first thing is that an old student of mine had a colleague who owned a sales uh, training center. And he, she called him up, said, you got to meet this guy, Anthony. He finally came in. We met. We hit it off. And I taught for his training facilities all over the country. Uh, and I also taught at the conventions, too. And what did I do? Did I teach, did I teach sales? No. I don't, I don't teach sales. What I teach is how to apply the sales techniques more authentically. Got it? So you're not imposing fake behavior and it's so it's so it's honest it was a, a a wonderful experience and it was my first big one but another thing that happened and this is gonna I'm gonna shed light onto one of the exercises I do a lot with my uh, clients it's called the disobligation workout okay and it happened uh, this one night this type A Wall Street guy was you know 30 something world beater was in my class and he was really out of it one night. And it was his time to work. I asked him, what's the problem? What's going on with you? And he said, I have a review tomorrow from my boss. I believe he's going to ask me if I want to accept a promotion. I said, great. And I said to him, you know, he goes, I don't know, Anthony. I'm really out of it. I'm, I feel paralyzed. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Uh, this, this is a game changer here. And I said, well, all right. He goes, and I like, love acting. I said, well, what would it mean if you accepted this position, assuming it was offered? He goes, three, four years, then I could retire. And I said, really? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a nice contract, don't you think? And he goes, yeah, it's great, but I don't know. I, I'm just stuck. Okay. Let's do a disobligation workout. Disobligation workout. I'm gonna. The thumbnail of it is the the little thumbnail is you disobligate yourself from everything that you feel so needy about or that you feel holds a lot of energy that you got to be perfect in. So after a while of doing this workout, it was going in the vein of I don't need this job. I don't need. I don't need this. I don't need. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna be entertaining here. They wanna be entertained, go to a movie. This is what you got. You know what I mean? Kinda goes like that. And that's how he was doing it. After about a good, I don't know, fifteen, twenty minutes, maybe thirty, he was totally disobligated. I said, So how are you feeling? And he said, Wow, I feel lighter. I feel lighter. I feel I feel good, thanks. I said, great, sit down. Now first let's talk about what's the importance of this for acting. Well, everything. You know, if you're holding the racket too tight, as they say, the ball's going to go in the audience, right? So in this case, he was holding both rackets too tight. <laughs> you know, he, he was paralyzed with, with just not knowing what to do, how to feel, how, what, how to deal with the situation at all. And in acting, if you try to go into a role like that, it'll never happen. You'll never have success. So it's, a, so it's a preparational workout. The week comes and goes. He comes to me the next week before class. He goes, can I talk to you a second? And I'm like, sure. He goes, remember we worked last week? I'm like, remind me. The, the disoblig yeah, the disobligation workout, sure. He goes, well, we had the meeting the next day. I had the meeting the next day. And my boss did ask me about the promotion. I said, great, what happened? And I sensed something was in his eyes. He goes, well, that exercise kind of rolled over. And I'm thinking, oh no, oh no, what's going on here? What happened? And I said, well, he asked me if I wanted this promotion. I'm like, what did you say? And he goes, I told him I didn't need it. I, that it wasn't that important, that I, I could do without this stuff. I'm going to be an actor. And I'm thinking, oh no. What did he, your boss say? He, goes, he offered me more money. And 
<laughs> so long story short, that went back and forth for a while, and he landed a fabulous contract, back end points, and you know all of this sort of thing. And then at the end, he said, "You got something here. You really got. You got to think about this, Anthony." And that was between the training of the, the, the sales uh, forces as, as well as the, um, this experience of then many came like this, made me say, okay. Now today, I don't have executives in my acting class. I don't. I have executives in my executive coaching uh, system, in my, in my the BOVA communication system. This way it allows me to deal with them, with their issues, and you know, not have them pull out Macbeth, you know, because that's the, it, it, it's it'll help them, but it's it's not going, it's not what they need right then and there. So that was the beginning.